constantly fed reporting from Los Angeles. Well, I'm joined now by Rahim Kassam, a U.S. political historian. Thank you very much for Hi coming there. in this morning. Um, well, do you think he's coasting along to a victory or not, Mr. Romney? Um, well, there were little surprises yesterday, uh, Nevada being a heavily populated Mormon state. So you could say that this was kind of expected. Um, a quarter of those eligible to go to the caucuses yesterday were Mormons would have supported Mitt Romney on that basis. Um, if you look at the uh, entrance polling from last night, what we can also see is that people aren't necessarily looking, as they were in South Carolina, for this conservative ideologue in Newt Gingrich. Um, so factoring those things in, I don't think he's necessarily coasting here. I think there are certainly some losses that he's going to pick up uh, along the way between now and Tampa, the Republican uh, convention. But I think Newt Gingrich's tactics really need to change if he's going to start uh, hitting home with his message. We've got uh, a, a crisis uh, unfolding with Iran uh, coming up, and I think Newt needs to switch his focus to foreign affairs because the economy, as we've seen yesterday in the United States, is picking up under Barack Obama. So that talking point is going to become less and less powerful for the Republican candidates. Are you talking about Newt Gingrich's uh, tendency to attack his opponents, and particularly Mitt Romney, rather than uh, sort of looking to the future? Well, that's right. Yeah, or, in fact, looking to uh, attack Barack Obama's records. What happened last night, uh, we saw a very infuriated Newt Gingrich talking about uh, how he was still going to the convention, how he's still carrying on. But what we didn't hear from him at all, uh, there were zero mentions of Barack Obama in his speech after the, after the results came out. That was the same for Ron Paul. It was the same for Rick Santorum. Mitt Romney, on the other hand, mentioned Barack Obama or Mr. President um, over a dozen times. And that just shows that uh, Mitt Romney is positioning himself as the presidential candidate, whereas the others seem to be trying to present themselves as the sort of Mr. Conservative in inverted commas, not necessarily trying to win the nomination, but trying to win the hearts of Republican voters. And those two things aren't necessarily one and the same at the moment. Can you remind us where the opinion polls across the whole of the United States point yeah. as we begin to think about the actual presidential election itself? Yeah, we're still looking at Mitt Romney uh, commanding, a, commanding a decent lead at the moment, but it's, it's, not, it's not all that solid and, and states are diverse, so you can't really say that national polling really reflects what's going to happen because as we go through each and every primary, that's going to shift um, and that's, that's what momentum does. Um, if After South Carolina, we saw uh, Newt Gingrich pick up a lot more support. Um, but if you're picking up support, you're also picking up uh, attacks against you. And that's something that the new campaign just wasn't ready for. Um, one of his strong points, well, not actually a strong point for him, but where he's picking up support is after the debates. And we haven't had a debate recently, and we're not going to have a debate until the end of February. So going into the caucuses over the next few weeks, Newt doesn't have this platform where he can attack the media, where he can attack uh, Barack Obama. And, and briefly, opinion polls versus uh, Barack Obama himself? Yeah, I think uh, we're seeing Mitt Romney now pulling level with Barack Obama, but Obama's still edging that um, when it comes to re-election chances. Again, this uh, pickup of the U.S. economy over the last uh, week is going to galvanize Obama's support. Uh, the independents that might have pulled away from him are now saying, oh, well, actually, uh, it appears he was right with the bailout plan, with how he's approached these kinds of things. Obama, the Obama campaign is really going to focus on, and they're not going to be able to be weak on, things like the Iranian question, the Iranian nuclear threat over the months going forward, even if they wanted to be a little bit more uh, talkative to the Iranian regime, because they'll know that these independents who are leading to the right uh, will actually uh, take up a lot of their uh, support in, in uh, states such as Missouri and, and um, Nevada and places that we're seeing coming along this week. I think Newt if he really thinks he's going to go to Tampa, needs to switch uh, his tactics. Otherwise, he's going to go in there with his hat in his hand. Rahim Kassam, very grateful to you. Thank you very much.